guys what's going on so just back here with a, another video and um you know as as you guys all uh, i'm sure know by now uh donald trump there was an attempted assassination on him i covered this very quickly yesterday just after it happened but since it's been about 24 hours now i thought i'd just kind of make a, another video just kind of showing you guys the whole clip of what exactly happened and then you know we'll go over a couple other things as well so let's have a look at this first video i do have a couple videos to uh show you guys here so uh just bear with me and then we'll talk about it a bit after with breaking news gunshots were heard at a pennsylvania rally where former president donald trump was speaking if you uh, want to really see something that said take a look at what happened oh. Trump and others on the stage this got close to recover. Right. It's not clear what the extent of the former president's injuries is. Blood could be seen near his right ear as he was escorted off the stage by the Secret Service and taken to a vehicle before he was transported away from the site. When I first saw that, I thought he wasn't getting out. So they're saying the shooter's down, so they, they got the shooter after. You hear him say, let me get my shoes. The guy's worried about his style after he got shot. And, I mean, by the way, this is some of the most badass footage and iconic footage in American history right here. Guy stands up and watch this. Watch what he does. Puts his fist up in defiance and he's screaming fight with the crowd with blood dripping down his face. And now you can hear the crowd kind of chanting USA, USA, USA. Again, I'm still supporting Robert Kennedy, but that's badass. You gotta admit. Love him or hate him. That's, that's wild. All right, so now the other thing I wanted to show you guys here is something very interesting. There was a gentleman who was just outside, like just kind of like outside where the barriers were in terms of the um, where the rally was being ha uh, held. And apparently some guys actually saw the shooter climbing up on a roof. And um, this guy's asking a lot of interesting questions. So I just want to play that video for you as well. Sorry, there, it's being a little bit slow today. We had a party here all day. If you, uh, you can see behind us at the Brinkles Farming Greenhouse here. We had a party. Um, and we all decided, hey, you know, when, when we hear Trump up there, we're going to walk up through the field, stand by the trees up there under the shade, yeah. and watch the, and listen to the rally. Right? We couldn't see them, but we could hear them. So we walked up. And probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea, you know, but um, we noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at them. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, oh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. Okay. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for you know, two or three minutes, Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? A hundred percent. hundred percent. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You saw him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. That's and a long time for the minutes. Secret Service to react, by yep. the way. We were telling the police, we were pointing at him for the Secret Service, who were looking at us from the top of the barn. 
They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see? Binoculars. Could they see? Probably not, because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But, but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead. And that was it. It was over. It's incredibly shocking. The guy was on the roof right there. You could see the white roof right there. Did you get a look at him? Could you? I, I No, other than he was in muted colors, tan type clothing. I, we saw the rifle flinging around as he was trying to crawl. I mean, we saw the rifle, 100%. Do you, do, I mean, do you know about guns? Do you know what kind of weapon it was? Oh, I absolutely know about guns, for sure. No, I mean, it's a, it's a rifle of some sort. I wouldn't know, you know, I wasn't close enough to read the label on it. I'm but not sure, but a high it, was a, it was a rifle of some sort. Yeah, absolutely. So what, what do you, how do you process what you've just seen? <sighs> I, I don't know what to say, man. I'll tell you is, you know, if I, if I walked up close to there with, Anything that can, Secret Service considered a, a, a problem, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. But I don't know why a guy who we're standing there pointing now to police and Secret Service is crawling up the roof. Yes, right there by that tree. We were outside the security perimeter. But my question is, there's only a few buildings around here. Why is Secret Service not on every building here? There's a whole bunch of questions. I think they're going to come. There's a whole bunch of questions. Yeah, guys. So, I mean, that's, it's, it's crazy, right? Like how did, like, it was a few minutes that this guy was on the rooftop before he took shots. I think they said four minutes. That is a long time for secret service to be able to, you know, react. And then, you know, he was killed. The guy, the guy who attempted the assassination of Donald Trump he was killed just seconds after he took the shot. So why did it take four minutes to locate him? And why were they not acting quicker when the guy was literally pointing at the shooter on the roof? What took so long? A few minutes is a long time in that situation, especially for the Secret Service. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a good question to ask. The other question to ask is, we won't know because the guy's dead, but what's the motive here? Did someone put him up to this? Was this planned? Was this allowed to happen it's very suspicious that the secret service didn't act quicker than that i'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist here i'm just wondering out loud what happened here because this is weird and again you know this whole well it was just another crazy lone shooter with a gun just unhinged and wanted to kill the president yeah that's what they said about the kennedys too i don't know what to believe and why this happened how how it happened or how it was let happened all I'm saying is this official story, I don't I don't buy it for a second. I don't think anyone should ever believe the official story on anything these days. But that being said, what was the motive here? Was it allowed to happen? Purposely or not? I don't I don't know. Right? I don't want to get too skeptical here. This, this is, you know, a day old. We don't have all the information yet, and it's likely gonna take years before everything comes out anyway. Um, and then, you know, of course you have the you know, online reaction. There's a lot of people out there just saying really disgusting shit. I'm not even going to mention their names. I was going to go through that on my, you know, on my Twitter, just kind of show you guys. But I decided, you know what, let's not even give these idiots, let's not even give them any attention. Uh, the, the, one pe the one group of people, though, that I do want to give some attention to is CBC. And this is something that uh, I reposted last night on my Twitter, which is basically, uh, this is from Odessa or... Orlowitz, and it says, and the CBC News in Canada is still bashing Trump and his voters after an innocent person is dead because there was an innocent bystander who was fatally shot, by the way. They also talked about the shooter having access to a gun partly due to Trump policies, even though CBC has no idea where the shooter got his gun and how. So here's how the CBC decided to cover this yesterday. So we'll have a quick look at this as well. Disgusting. Well, Donald Trump, one thing we know, if history is any sort of guide here, is that when Donald Trump says something, we see his very uh, you know, uh, aggressive supporters, aggressive, uh, his most dedicated base of support. 
um, they will repeat things for and they, they sort of get on board with that. Um, I can give you a couple of examples from our time covering Donald Trump. Um, you know, you go to a rally, you sort of ask these Trump supporters, you know, is there anything that Donald Trump uh, has done that, you know, concerns you or might get you to consider, um, you know, you, you might not want to sort of support him anymore. You ask about, it was criminal charges before the conviction had had it taken place. Yes, but criminal charges. And Donald Trump supporters, I found at, you know, rallies and different events that he's speaking at, you'll hear the Trump supporters almost verbatim repeat back to you what Donald Trump has said about the issues. So when it comes to his criminal charges, his supporters will say things like, um, you know, this is uh, done by orchestrated Joe Biden. Joe Biden is weaponizing the system of justice against him. And this is an attack on Donald Trump because he's doing so well in the polls, those kinds of things. And so what Donald Trump says at any time matters, but what Donald Trump is going to say in this moment may matter more than any other point in his time in politics. Because clearly the temperature in this country, uh, the, the situation is at a breaking point, and the tone he takes will be adopted by those who support him, as we have seen time after time after time. So that will be the question, the tone that Donald Trump is going to take in the aftermath of, of this, uh, now we will be investigation into what exactly happened and what were the motivations of the shooter and, and what led up to this. But that is going to be a key part of how this country responds based on what Donald Trump says and does. Uh, so so that, they're worried about his tone and what he says, even though there was an assassination attempt. And by the way, mainstream media wasn't even calling it an assassination attempt. They're calling it, oh, it's someone sh took a shot at Donald. This is an assassination attempt, not shots fired. Like, do proper journalism. This was an assassination attempt. I'll say it one more time, CBC, CNN. It was an assassination attempt. Did you guys see that, that CNN article, which they've recently updated? But when they first posted the article, I think it was Jimmy Dore and Dave Smith who posted a screenshot of it. And the headline of their article was, Secret Service rushes on stage as Donald Trump falls. Give me a break. This is why more and more people continue to call the CBC, CNN fake news, because it is fake news. It's ridiculous how they're covering. And this bitch is worried about, oh, we need to, you know, he needs to be careful about what he says in his tone. They tried to kill the guy. It's just, it's unbelievable how they put this weird spin on things and just you talk about his supporters and it, this has nothing to do with that. You should be asking much different questions and, oh, I wonder what he's going to say. I mean, of course, you're going to be curious about that. But the, I think the, the more important question is, uh, how did this, how is this allowed to happen and is it going to happen again? My guess, probably. Right now, like I said, too, there's other things that I could cover, and I, I was going to show you guys, but, you know, the YouTube Terms of Service, there's a lot of, you know, graphic images going around of the, you know, the guy being shot, so I don't want to get into him, I don't want to bring up his name, um, again, I, I don't, I just don't want to name someone like that, so, <clears throat> again, you know, I just wanted to kind of really call out the mainstream media for not doing their job properly on this one, and just mislabeling what really happened, because they don't want to say assassination attempt, and also yesterday, I just showed like a quick 50 second clip of it. So I wanted to show you guys the full clip uh, because yesterday I did, I'll, I'll admit, I, I kind of rushed that video because it happened. And then I just said, okay, I, I need to talk about this now, but we didn't have a lot of information. We didn't know that there was people who saw the guy climbing on the roof. So I just wanted to kind of go over that with you. Um, and yeah, again, you know, leave me your thoughts. You know, what do you guys think about this attempt? Do you think it was allowed to happen on purpose? Do you think that it was just a breach in the in the Secret Service? The head of the Secret Service should should she resign because this is if it was a mistake, it was a massive one, and someone needs to get fired for sure. But of course, if you're you know maybe conspiracy minded like me, you're going to be asking a lot of questions about okay, how did this was this allowed to happen? Again, I'm not making a statement; I'm just asking a question. But you do have to wonder these things, and whatever. The official story is that they come out with a week from now or whatever. Okay, we have all the information here. You got to ask questions still. You you can't just trust the FBI to release proper information. These are the people who are trying to arrest the guy. 
the FBI wanted to see him in jail too. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't trust any three letter agencies, DOC or sorry, DOJ, MIC, CIA. Don't trust them. So again, you let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I know it's still very raw. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's, it's been a crazy 24 hours. That's for sure. Now, do, sorry, I do want to point out one more thing here. Uh, so this is something I put on my Twitter yesterday, other than calling out Dean Blundell for being a loser for all the shit he was saying. Um, so the, if you look at this picture here, what a picture, right? And again, that's the most badass thing, the most badass picture. Iconic. It's one of the most iconic photos in American history already. I mean, look at that, just pumping his fist in defiance with blood running down his face. He just got a billion dollars worth of campaign ads with this event. And, you know, again, I, I'm, I don't want this to happen. And I don't want this to happen to any presidential candidate. Um, but, you know, what a badass photo that is. Right? I mean, that's just... <laughs> that is something else. And I'm not laughing at what happened. I'm just laughing at how much of a badass reaction that Trump actually had to it. So... All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I don't want to ramble on too long here, but let me know what you guys think of everything. What do you think happened? Do you believe you know, the official story that's starting to come out? I always enjoy reading your comments. I really enjoy the engagement. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another one, guys.